Dallas Cowboys find themselves in an interesting spot because you're looking around your backyard in your city. You're like, wait, hold on a second. So Texas. the the Mavericks oh. are one game away from going to the NBA Finals. They might get it. Yeah. You've got the Texas Rangers who just won a World Series. Dang. And you got the Dallas Stars, who are in Edmonton for Game 3 coming up later on tonight with a chance Dang. to go to the Stanley Cup Final. You got you a know. megastar quarterback going into his sophomore season in Houston. Yeah, and um, you're just kind of looking around going, you know, one of these things is not like the other. Uh, and uh, the Dallas Cowboys find themselves in a spot to where – yeah. Took them to Sesame Street. They're not, uh, you know, they're not not performing to the level of everybody else in town. And so Dak Prescott was asked about how he felt about the Cowboys and their, you know, just sort of performance in comparison to the Stars and the Mavericks and the Rangers. And here was Aren't Dak. They the stars? Here was Dak talking about the situation there in, with the Dallas Cowboys. It's not jealousy, but yeah, it fires you up. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I think. Any competitor should, damn sure, in my position, leader of the team, understanding what win winning means here, um, not getting it done, and then watching your brothers, you say, across the city, going making things happen. I'm, I'm, nobody, I want it. I want it for them. Trust me, I want it because it only, as I said, it only raises the stakes and, and makes makes it tougher on me, and, and I'm for that. And so, go win it. Go win it. Rangers did it. Other two go do it. And put more pressure on us. <laughs> You know hey, you know this. what's even more interesting? You want to have some what? insult to injury? Right. What did you say earlier? Kelsey and who? Oh, was Patrick that what Mahomes. game? Kelsey and Mahomes. Dapping up who? Luca, everybody else. Dang. Not even Dak. In your house. Yep. In your perceived Dang. house, you got Patrick Mahomes out here. Because he's a Texas Tech guy. I get it. But, but let's be clear. The man himself is in the building in Dallas, dapping up Luca, and they dapping him. Like, if I'm Luca and I'm Kyrie, I'm like, I ain't dapping you, my guy. Dak's my guy. Dak's my guy. Where's Dak? I'm dapping Dak. I'm not dapping you. No, nah, they dapping him. They dapping him right on they up. They dapping him. Big dap. Big dap. Big, big, big giant daps. Like, we dapping the, the the goat. We trying to be goats. I am going to be a goat. I'm an MVP. You're an MVP. Let's have it. Let's all have MVP. But Levon, do you think it makes him a little bit more? Because don't he make more than all of those guys that 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 stars on the other teams? Well, oh. no, I mean, Dak. Prescott, Dak don't make more think, than Mahomes. Uh, no, Mahomes. No, no, no. All the stars of the Dallas area. Oh. Um. Who's the I, highest paid Dallas star I in the whole know. city? I don't know. We Isn't Dak up there though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Dak is up there. Actually, so no, yeah, you can't be over to Dap and nah, people make less money than me. Yeah, actually, no, oh, it's it's uh, a it's, it's Jerry Jones, I believe, makes more money. Than <laughs> um, you know, it's but the amazing hey. part, the uh, Lee's got an update on most uh, highest paid Dallas athletes. Uh, right ahead of Luca is uh, Max Scherzer, forty three million. Scherzer, right. baseball, huh? We don't say his name in Detroit. Why not? It goes uh, Max Scherzer, Luca, Jacob Degrom, and then uh, Kyrie. Dang, Kyrie, this Kyrie, is getting paid. Um, here's here's Dak the part. is sixth. Yeah, so here's the part that yeah, I. That's about right. Here's the part. <laughs> this is the part that's great about the Dak Cowboys. Dak who? Sort of where yeah, where they was. find. So. Yeah, the Mavericks are one game away from the NBA Finals. The Stars are a couple of games away, potentially going to a Stanley Cup Final. The Rangers just won a World Series. All of that is great, and the Cowboys haven't sniffed a Super Bowl in 30 years, and it doesn't matter. They're the team of that town. Like, it doesn't matter. They could roll out a three-game bag of crap next year. Three wins for the Cowboys next year. They'll still be the talk it's of that town. It's true, but here's the problem. The problem is, is you can't take one and make it into the other. You can't take the other and make it into that one. The one thing that we're talking about right here, right now, is what Dak Prescott is thinking, what Dak Prescott is feeling, and what he's feeling is pressure. Now, here's what's crazy about this, right? It's more of an egotistical thing that's, that's driving this because he's made his money and – if it doesn't work out, he still will be commanding top dollar 
on the open market if they were to let him go. So he's kind of in a win-win situation here. If I win in Dallas, I get a new contract. Everything works out. We keep it, keep it rocking, keep it moving. But if I come up short and I don't play the way I'm supposed to play, who's going to be a higher prospect than me on the on the open market? Oh, this yeah. Look, even if they come up short, look, they've come up short every year he's been there, and he's still put up pretty good numbers. Last year, he was, he was good. Last year, Dak Prescott, he's going to get paid. He's good. It's all, uh, listen, it's all relative. Because some people call it garbage time points. There's, there's. I mean, not all of it was garbage. He's, he's played at times, but he's just never really delivered in the moment that really, really mattered the most, which is in the playoffs. So, to me, this is a big year for Dak Prescott. But with that being said, back to your original point, this does nothing to deter the vastly big, loyal, exuberant fan base of the Dallas Cowboys because they're always looking for the next opportunity to say, here we go, boys. This is our year. We're going to be good, right? Whereas Dak Prescott may have to move on based upon what's going on. This Whatever happens this season will have no bearing on on the popularity, as you mentioned, no bearing whatsoever on the popularity of the Dallas Cowboys because they are too much of a storyline that just continues to keep giving. And you don't have an owner. When you have ownership, which you can look at, a lot of people have made it about the ownership being the reason why this team can't get over the hump, and they're probably right. But it's not an egregious deal with – the Jones family, they have a love relationship with their fan base. The fan base loves Jerry Jones. They subscribe to how Jerry Jones is. He 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 seemingly keeps it super real, shoots from the hip. People fool with Jerry Jones. If you have an organization like, let's just say, for example, the Washington Commanders now, and when they were the Redskins, Dan Snyder had the team. Dan Snyder not only ran the team and the organization into the ground, he ran the fan base away. He decentralized the fan base. Jerry Jones is a master advertiser, does not run his his fan base away, and invites them, endears them, keeps them engaged, does other things that are amazing, boxing matches, monster truck deals, you name it. He does all kinds of stuff. Kid Rock's at Jerry's Rock and World. Rodeo. You don't Come on, that. man. Come on, man. Yeah. Jerry Jones party is a bus. master. Come on, come on, man. And they party on that bus, Hell too. Yeah. They party on that bus. Ain't nothing going on with the Dallas Cowboys but 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 the weather. That's it. Yeah. All it is is the weather changing from day to day. But and, Dak Prescott, his his surroundings may change. And that that's why he, he may end up somewhere different. He could, and that's why the the way the Cowboys have this structured, it's almost like it's a snowball effect because you're going to watch this year because you're like, okay, this could be it for Dak Prescott and Mike McCarthy. If they don't get a contract redone, they can't franchise him afterwards. So this could be it for Dak, for Mike McCarthy. It could be the final ride of this era, you know, the 2016 draft class that's led into this. And so people like, will okay. be happy about it. Oh, yeah, but like, and those fans will be but, happy. Like, oh, it's, it's a new start. But it's a storyline that everyone's going to follow and watch. And then if things go poorly, then they're going to have a bunch of new people there. And guess what's going to happen? They're all going to watch that storyline now. All right, finally Dak's gone. Everybody's gone. Problem solved, right? Like it just continues on. And it's been like this for 30 years. And they've got nothing to show for it. No conference championship game appearances. Nothing. And everybody else in town is doing legitimate big things in their sport, and it doesn't matter. It it does not matter. They will be the lead. They are the story. They are the standard in that town. And for all the the criticism we want to give Jerry Jones and and all the – dude, the way he is marketed and the way he's branded it, as you pointed out, has been brilliant. Because he could have ruined it. Oh, I mean, Dan Snyder Snyder ruined every – I know Jack can't – Cook is rolling in his dra- he rolling in his grave somewhere. This man undid everything I did to build this this organization to be represented and and as as valuable as as it was when he took over it. And you know what, Dan Dan messed it up. Like seemingly 
uh, unmess upable type of scenario. Unmess upable. Unmess upable. You like that? And he screwed I it up. for a living. Yeah. He screwed that ass up. Screwed it right on up. Hey, can Dak afford to miss OTAs? <laughs> yes. Dak is in the driver's seat. Yeah. Dak is in the driver's seat, like I said, because he will be the most coveted free agent. There's going to be a coach or two out there and a GM out there that says it wasn't Dak. There's at least one or two of them out there that will sit there and say it wasn't Dak, well, and, and they'll pay him. And they're also gonna they're gonna justify it to themselves by saying, "Look, he's a good quarterback, and you know maybe he just needs to get away from the distraction I mean, and the maybe pressure." Maybe it's in up in Pittsburgh, you know. Like, let's I, just keep the party going on. Hey, let know? me tell you something. Would you not feel Would you not feel more optimistic about the Steelers if Dak was their quarterback this year? I, I ain't gonna lie, I would. Hell yeah, I would. I would. I'm t- I like, definitely would. Yeah, so he's got all the leverage. He's got all the – everything is pointing in. But why, Lamar? Him. Lamar, why? Why? Um, I think he's a better quarterback than definitely Russell Wilson. I think he I think he has more potential than Russell Wilson, and he's a better quarterback than Justin Fields yeah, today. He is. We don't question his 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 ability or the his ability well, to compete. Well, what we questioning, Joel? He can't finish. Yeah, but you put him – listen, I'm going to say this. To Dak's defense, there was no defense. And I, my baby boy, happy birthday to you, uh, Micah. The defense – What up, Micah? They were some scrubs against Green Bay. Oh, they got opened up. They were some scrubs. It was not – I would not sit there and say, I'm putting that loss on on Dallas's offense – in the playoffs last season, it was actually down the stretch. It was the passenger be, side and, scrub, and, and, and by and and by the it time it was bad, bro. Look, and, and by the time I'm by, talking hospital scrub, and by the time you know Dallas was starting to you know put up any points to get any momentum, I think Jake Ferguson had a big game as well too. It was already over because Green Bay had been running it up on him for hours. Like it, it, it was over. So I just I look at it, I go. Dang. Look, Dak's got all the leverage in the world. The hospital and, scrubs. And as far as leverage in that town, the Cowboys got it all, too. Like, Jerry Jones can do whatever the hell he wants. Oh, man. They're going to run the show there.